Hello, my name's Donella, and I'd like to show you how to tweeze your eyebrows. Now, I've been in the health and wellness business for over 20 years, and normally I do the treatments on people, but there's always that times when you need to do your own treatments. So I'm gonna show you how. Um, so to begin, we need to prepare our area. So making sure your space next to you is nice and clean, we wanna get our equipment. So our equipment that we're going to use um, consists of a pair of tweezers and hopefully you've sterilised these. Um, at home it's a bit more trickier than in a salon environment but you could sterilise them with um, some hot water, um, some surgical spirits um, or some barbicide. I mean lots of hairdressers and beauty salons get that but you can probably buy some and you normally use just a small cap, so cap full um, to a jar and stick them in there afterwards okay so they're good for the use beforehand. Um, you want a pair of small tweezers um, preferably with a little point on the end so you can just get those extra long stray hairs out but we'll come on to that a bit more later. You'll want an orange stick so it looks a bit like um, skewer, but the difference is it doesn't have a sharp point at the end, as you can see, it's more flat. Some people use them for their nails to push the cuticles back, but we're gonna be using them to help get our shape today. Um, you want some patters, so these are like cotton patters. Um, I would suggest about four. I've got six here just in case. Um, and you shouldn't need any more than that. Um, some tissues if you like them. Um, um, something to wipe the makeup off if you've got makeup on, um, as I have. You'll need a mirror. You can have a free hand mirror, so it just stays in your hand like I have here. Or you can have one that's on a stand. Now it is easier on a stand and that's the one I'm going to be using today. Normally we'd have a free hand one because when we're tweezing clients' eyebrows, we don't want them to be holding a mirror at all um, and they don't need to sit there whilst and look whilst we're doing it. So we would give them the hand mirror afterwards, but you need one with a stand ideally. I'm going to position my mirror so that I can see. So it's just to the right of me, just over here. And first of all, we're going to wipe any makeup off, any grease, any oil you may have on your skin. Now, you might want to do this and take all your makeup off, and that's fine. And that's the best way, to be honest. Um, but for the purpose of this video today, and it would take me a while to take my makeup off, um, we can cover that in another video. I'm just going to wipe over the brow. So I'm going to get my cotton patter, um, one of these, and I'm going to just put some eye makeup remover on it to begin. Now, it doesn't matter which eye makeup remover you use, as long as it's one that's good for your skin. OK, so if you're quite sensitive, make sure it's suitable for that. Otherwise, you might come up in a rush before you begin. Now, once you have your patter, you're going to start to take any excess makeup off. So I'm just looking in the mirror here um, and it might be quite wet afterwards. And you want to take it off wherever you're going to take those hairs off. Now, I've got quite a few hairs here, uh, as I haven't tweezed them for a while, so they've grown a bit. Um, sometimes you have them in the middle, um, most people do. Um, and if you've got dark hair like I have, um, it's more significant, you can see it more. So just wipe that all over, you can do it on both sides. Obviously, if you have skin diseases, disorders, or anything like that present, I would use a patter for each side um, and you would do that if you was doing um, some work on someone's eye, you would never use the same pattern on both sides. But because I'm doing it on myself and I know I haven't, I'm just using one, but ideally maybe use two or wash over the face and cleanse it properly first. OK, so I've removed all that now. And sometimes when you're using um, an eye makeup remover, you might find it's a little bit tingly, a little tingly sensation afterwards. And if it's not too uncomfortable, just let it pass for a moment before you actually continue. Now, if you're doing your eyebrows at home, what I would suggest, especially for those who've got very sensitive skin, is to just use a hot, um, cloth a hot flannel over your eyebrows so you just get that warmth there and you're opening those pores up 
Okay, so the ne next bit we're going to come on to is measuring the eyebrows. So we want to use our orange stick, okay? And we're going to measure from the inside to begin. So it goes from the outside of your nose and then on the inside of the brow. And you want to come up into a straight line. So going straight up towards the hairline, like this. And if you have any hairs on the inside here, they're the ones you want to remove, okay? Now, if you're doing a client, you could hold that there and you might be able to pluck, but as I'm doing it on myself, it's a bit more trickier. So you want to just hold that straight up by your nose and don't let it push your nose because otherwise the stick's going to move. So just literally just hold it up in a straight line, a vertical line there and anything on the inside. So I've got a couple of hairs here that need to be removed. Then you're going to come to your outside. Now, when we're doing eyebrows, there's many different shapes, okay? So you've got your arch shape, you've got your straight line, you've got your angular, you've got your long eyebrow, you've got your short eyebrow, you've got your thick eyebrow, and you've got your thin eyebrow, okay? So it depends on what sort of eyebrow you want. Now, I've got quite a good shape already here. Um, some of my eyebrows, as you can see, are a little bit thin, a little bit sparse here, and you can always correct that with a bit of eyeshadow. Um, eyebrow pencil or um, a little bit of coal um, black pencil in there if your eyebrows are as dark as mine otherwise use an eyebrow pencil of, of your colour okay now to get the angle at the end you want to know again how far down you want to come and it depends on you I mean I, you can see I've got quite a thick eyebrow here so I only really want to go here and don't want to go past here so the pencil, the, I'm um, sorry, the orange stick is going to come from the corner and it's going to come straight up, okay? So anything that's beyond that, and I do have a few hairs there, they're going to need to be removed. Now, if you want more of definition in your eyebrows and you want to go up into a little arc like mine do here, you're going to need to know where you need to come from. Now, some people want it directly where the, the cuticle stick's going to lie and they come straight up and it's about halfway. If like me you want it a little bit more in I can show you that too. So to begin get your orange stick again and you're going to come down in the very middle of the eye and you go straight up into a vertical line again. Now if you look directly in front of you you can see where the orange sticks lie. So Anything on the right hand side needs to be removed, which mine already is. And then on the inside, you would want to keep the hair up to that point. Now, mine's a little bit thinner than that. Mine's come in a little bit more and that's OK, because that's the way I want mine. But if you want it directly, you literally go, as I just mentioned, in the middle of the eye. So of the whole of the eye, you come straight up with that line. Keep the orange stick still and you want to remove anything behind it and everything in front of it you're going to keep okay okay so having known where that is if it's easier for you um you could always get your little eyebrow pencil um and you can just mark it where those lines would be okay so if you're a bit concerned that you're going to take too much off or not take enough off i mean not taking enough off is kind of fine because you can always go back but once you take too much off obviously we're not going to be able to go back and correct it then so you can always just put a little line on the inside coming up and at the angle at the end so you know where to take off once you have your ideal shape and you know how long you want it obviously if you want the eyebrow longer you don't have to go where that that cuticle stick mark is you can come further down if you want to go shorter you can come up but just work with your kind of shape and some people go with what's trendy at the moment um i know at one point um i think the last time it was very thin eyebrows and now the thicker eyebrows are coming back in um but you don't necessarily have to go with what's trendy you know you can go with what works best for you so now we're going to learn how to shape the eyebrow now we know the shape that we want and if you was using having a client in front of you you'd want to stretch their skin so you would place two fingers on this eyebrow wherever you're going to go we always start underneath to begin and you would just stretch that eyebrow open now it is a little bit more trickier when you're doing it on yourself um, but you can still do it 
OK, so I'm going to have to turn slightly so that I can see into the mirror. And when you are tweezing your eyebrows, and especially if, you've done, if this is your first time, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable, OK, because you're removing that hair that is attached to you. Um, just go slowly. Try not to take more than one hair at a time. If you've got quite a lot of hair there, you know, make sure you have time set aside to do this. Don't rush it, OK, because you don't want to go wrong. So let's start with the underneath brow on my right hand side, which to you might seem like my left. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to stretch the skin and I'm just going to slightly lift it and that just holds it. And what this does by stretching it, it just reduces the amount of pain. So I'm just going to start by taking the hairs out one by one and you don't have to keep going back to your tissue or patter. But when you have a few hairs in your tweezers, I suggest you put them to one side, maybe on your pat or on your tissue, so they're just out the way, okay? So you carry on tweezing in this way, all the way underneath, keep going. You don't need to rush. You can always pause the video if you need to. And it might go a little bit red, that's fine. We can always put something on there to cool it down afterwards and I'll explain that in a bit more detail once we're done. So continuing on, just tweezing my eyebrow on the right hand side, going all the way underneath, trying to find that line, lift your eyebrows up. Now this is where um, you can use an eyebrow brush. Now, some of you at home, I'm aware, may not have an eyebrow brush, and that's fine. Um, so what my suggestion is, use an old mascara brush. These are always really handy to have. Make sure you've washed it out and you've dried it properly. And you can just brush those eyebrows up. Can you see now how long my eyebrows are? Look, they're all the way up there. So they're going to need to be trimmed down. So we're going to keep pushing them all up as we're working underneath. So I'm going to continue stretching my skin and just tweezing here. And remember, if you're taking away those hairs at the ends of that brow because you've marked it out or you know where you're going to tweeze up to, I suggest you start taking them out now because we're still working from the underneath to begin. OK, so making sure and every now and then just come back to your tissue. Come back to your pattern, just remove some of those hairs. Remember, you're only removing one hair at a time if you can, because if you take out a whole cluster of hair, not only is it painful, remember you could mess up. You could take out a big chunk of hair that you actually wanted to keep. So once you've come round underneath the arch, you want to start coming across. Now here, I've got like a little line and that's the line I want to follow. So anything underneath there, I'm going to want to remove it. So following that down, Remember to remove the excess hair. Just continuing going down until you've got your shape. Just have a look, see if there's any more you can remove. And just go slowly again. Now, if you do have very sharp tweezers, please be careful because you are likely to catch the skin if you are not paying attention. OK, so just go slowly. Sometimes people have um, tweezers. These are quite straight ones, as you can see. But sometimes people have them with an angle at the end. And what you can do is you can just rest that angle against the skin and then remove the hairs. So now we've done the underside. We're going to think about the top. Now, if you've got very fair hair, you might want to leave the top alone. And most people do. They want that natural look and eyebrow. And it doesn't matter if you've got dark hair as well. You will want to leave it. That's fine. I personally prefer to remove the hair above. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush our hair down so I can go over the top and we'll come back to those long hairs in a minute. So let's use our brush and just brush the hairs down. Oh, they look even longer now, don't they? And just brush them all down out your way. So we can start going over the top. So remember, you've got your shape there now. You've got the end point. You've got this point underneath. And now we're going to start doing the top if you want to. OK, if you want to make it a little bit more natural, you could always leave a few hairs there. But it depends on your preference. So again, remember to stretch the skin. 
and start to tweeze any of those straggly hairs out that you don't want on the top. And you don't need to come up too high up the head. Um, you want to go quite close to the brow, okay? So keep working across nice and gently. And if it feels quite uncomfortable and you need to take a break, then take a break from it. Then just resume when you're ready. So coming in a bit more. So now I'm coming to my darker ones. And darker ones, if they're thicker, they're normally going to be a little bit more coarser. So there's different types of hair. There's anagen, there's catagen, and there's telogen. So there's different stages of that hair growth. And those thicker ones are going to be more uncomfortable getting out because they're going to be a bit more tough. Okay. So I'm coming in closer to the brow now. So I'm nearly done on the top. So still stretching that skin the best I can, looking into this mirror as I'm just removing the hair. Remember, use your tissue or your patter just to take off any excess hair that you've picked up on the way. Again, still don't worry about how fast or slow you do it. There is a sort of a knack to it, which you'll probably pick up as you go along. Okay, so I'm done with this brow for the moment. You can continue and trim off, but I'm going to come into the middle, okay? So if you remember where your mark is, if you don't, if you haven't marked it and you want to just check, you can always put that stick up there again, and then remember you want to remove everything on the inside. So let's start with the middle bit. So again, you want to st stretch the skin. And what you can do is, if it's your own skin that you're tweezing, you can always just move the eyebrows up so you're stretching it that way before you even begin and that's much easier so let's go again just tweezing on the inside now depending on how big your tweezers are you might be able to get that really really small hairs out but if they're not very good you're going to struggle now some of the hairs even with really good tweezers might still just be stuck there and try not to worry about them too much you can either trim them down or just leave them in a couple of days they'll probably just pierce through that skin a little more and you'll be able to grab them remember the tweezers can't grab nothing so it has to be coming outside of that skin so let me continue on with the middle bit of the brow so again i'm just as you can see i'm stretching my head up i'm pulling it up i'm stretching the skin and i'm tweezing out all those excess hairs but I don't want them. Okay. When you're doing this, you might find that your skin's getting very dry. Um, don't worry, because you can always moisturise it off. So once you are done on the middle, we're going to come on to the, into the other side. So again, you can use your little brush just to brush those hairs up out your way. And I've got some even longer hairs on this side. So just brushing them up and again you can see here can you see them there we want to remove all those ones underneath so we're going to stretch that skin so use your two fingers or whichever fingers it maybe you can use your thumb and finger if it's easier and start to tweeze out all those hairs underneath that you no longer want and just continue this all the way underneath that eyebrow so remember just to keep going back to your tissue removing those excess hair rather than let them keep build up on your tweezers because they'll just be in the way so let's continue underneath and then we're going to come nearer to the middle of this brow okay So as we're coming closer to the middle, it might be a little bit more sensitive. So maybe just do an extra big stretch there, just to make sure. Okay, good. I think that's all done there now. Just have a quick look over, see that you're happy with the underneath and inside. Can always go back to the upside. Let me do 
put the top in there hang around and just some gold brush over them again um to be honest i'm not stretching all the time now and that's because my eyebrows my skin's got a little bit more used to the tweezer now um but you can carry on stretching throughout okay so now we want to brush the brow down so get your eyebrow brush again if you've got a proper one remember you can use that but otherwise this is just as good and then just brush them down and again you can see i've got some really long hairs there and let's work on the top so again same method again just stretch and hold you can stretch up a little bit if you want just pull it across just taking out those excess and every now and then remember just remove the hairs of the tweezer coming along just be careful you don't hurt your skin try not to take up more than one hair at a time it might seem a bit tedious at times it might take a long time but you want to get it right okay Okay, and then we're just going to go back over that middle bit, just give this any extra flair. Let's just chop off, and let's just chop more up here. That's nicer. And when you're looking at yourself this this close, um, you can get a little bit conscious, and you can think, "Oh, I've got hair there and hair there," you know. But most people don't look at you directly right up to your face, so try not to be be over paranoid about it. Just just relax, okay. okay so now we've done both eyebrows we've done the underneath and over top just have a look on your first brow again are you happy with it can you see any more hairs that need to come out so i can see a couple now because sometimes when you change the angle of the light you can see a different way that the hairs reflect the light and sometimes they might have seen like a, a very light hair and you didn't want to take it out for and then when you turn the angle of the light or you just move your face slightly you might find that you can see a darker hair so just go over just check if there's any more that need removing just pull them out gently slowly check the upper buff if you're taking the hairs out above the eyebrow Um, and you might notice you know, I don't know if you can see it properly that they are going a little bit red and as I mentioned before don't worry try not to keep touching with your fingers as well because um, as you go along if you do pick up bacteria you're just going to spread it around your face okay and you don't want that so once you're done we're now going to come on to the trimming bit so let's get our brush again and brush the eyebrow out down so i'm going to go on to this right hand side you can see all my excess brow there now be very careful when you trim one because obviously these scissors have got a pointed edge and you don't want to cut yourself and two you don't want to cut off too much now you can keep your eyebrow brush there if you like and then trim so i'm going to need to look into the mirror and you can trim with that now, if you was with a client, you could always put a little tissue over their eye and catch the hair as you're doing this. As you're doing it on yourself, you could put a tissue, just rest it on your cheeks, but it's unlikely to stay there. Um, what you could do is you can get your patter um, and you can either cut these in half or you can rip them in half and just cut a little angle out and you can just rest it underneath. But anything that falls on the eyelid will still obviously be there. So it's a little bit more tricky or you can put a wet one over your eye. But I'm just going to do it loose and then just move them out to the side. So I'm just going to continue. Remember, you can use your brush just to come down and just follow that line naturally, smoothly. Remember, you don't want to take too many hairs off, but keep, keep moving those hairs out of the way. Coming through, go down to the front bit, brush that down, see if there's any hairs. There might not be, they might be fine. You know, if you've got quite thin eyebrows as it is, you might not need to do this. Get one of your clean patterns and just wipe it over so you're just getting 
that excess hairs out of the way. Okay, so let's brush down again. Now, there was a couple here, but I think most of it's gone. So let's go over again and have a look. Okay, once you're happy, again, just wipe over. And then let's do this the other way. So brushing up. That's it. And then again, you can see those excess hairs there. Let's remove them. So just trim them lightly. Let's go again. Let's just brush them up. Can you see they're getting quite a lot shorter now? Have a look again. Remember, you can keep that brush. There. It's a bit more trickier when you're going and cutting over the top than it is underneath. You can hold it like this if you like. Can you see those excess hairs? And then just start to trim them off that way. And again, just do that all the way along the brow until you're done. Okay, so this brow's looking a lot better now. I've got the shape, I've tweezed all the underneath, tweezed the above, and now we're going to do the same on the other side. So again, just brush that down first. You might want to close your eye. Obviously, if you was doing it on a client, you'd ask them to close their eye. And again, you can keep that brush there whilst you trim gently underneath. Working your way across. As you can see, I haven't done my eyebrows for a while, and these are quite long. <laughs> okay, so I think that's done now. Now we're going to go above the brow. So again, we're going to just Brush those brows up and we're going to trim above. Now again, you can keep that br brush there and trim if you like, or you can just move it out of the way. Depends what's easier for you. And remember, go slowly again, because especially when you're coming over the opposite side that you're used to using, if you're right handed, you know, your right side is going to be easier. When you come to the left, unless you're ambidextrous and you're used to using both hands, when you come to this side, you'll find that you won't be able to use the scissors the same way. You're going to have to use them backwards. OK, and you might not be used to that. So please be careful. If you're at home and you know you've got someone who can help you, you can always ask them to help you with this bit if, it feel, if you feel a little bit safer. Let's continue across. We're coming up. I think most of those are done now. There's just a couple. Okay. Wipe those off. We're going to get our patter and we're just going to wipe over that eyebrow. Um, just to make sure we've got all that excess hair off on both sides. Okay. And just have another look. Is there any more hair you feel that needs to come off? Because you might be able to see it a bit better now you've had a trim. So I'm just going to have a look. I think I can see at least one or two on this left hand side. I'm just going to move them. And again, wipe it off. Okay, we're done. Now, as I say, we're done. We're going to just put something to cool the eyebrows down. So um, you might have at home some after wax lotion. You can use that. You might have some Savlon, some E45, something like that. Nothing too harsh. Something that you'd put on your skin just to gently help it to cool. You can use some aloe vera cream if you like. Um, so I'm going to use one here. And this one's got lavender and aloe vera in it it's a mixture okay so i'm just going to put a bit on it's on the patter as you can see and you want to apply it everywhere you've tweezed okay and you're going to do this on both sides 
Now, just let it seep in for a bit. I know it looks awful, but just let it seep in for a bit and then just start to dab it. Try not to rub it because you don't want to rub it. Bear in mind that we've just taken our hair out, okay? So all our pores are now open, okay? So let's do this on both sides. So if you are blending it in a little bit now, just be careful, don't do it too rough. I mean, if we do both sides, they will be red for a while. It might be a little bit puffy. I don't know if you can see it on this side. It's quite puffy compared to that side, okay? Um, so ideally, you want to make sure you wash your hands thoroughly now. You want to clean all your tools over. So first, hot soapy water, clean them over. Anything that's disposable, dispose of it, get rid of it, okay? Um, if you're using things on yourself, if they're disposable, like the brush, you know, that you can wash again. As long as you're using it on yourself, don't use it on other people, you know, your cuticle's sick. Again, wash it, hot soapy water. Make sure they're dry thoroughly. Um, with your metal instruments, again, as I mentioned at home, it's a little bit more difficult than in a salon environment. So once you've washed them over hot soapy water, maybe put some um, steriliser on there, some barbicide or surgical spirits, which you might have at home, the surgical spirits, just to make sure they're clean. Um, and you can always put them in a little tray with some hot boiling water as well to help sterilise them, dry them over and then leave them to dry. If you've got anything like a UV steriliser, some UV light, some people do at home, you could always put that on there just to dry them off thoroughly. Okay. Um, now that we've done our eyebrows, um, because the pores are open, we don't want to clog it up with dirt so ideally you want to leave makeup off for a minimum of two hours and i really recommend 24 hours now you want to be careful if you're going to have a sunbed or anything like that because really i say no you need to avoid them okay so no heat no going out sunbathing no going on a sunbed you want to keep that heat away no hot baths or showers now if you really really do need a shower you know try and avoid that part of your body or have the water a lot more tepid than normal okay um if you liked my video if you enjoyed it make sure you press like make sure you share so that other people can watch it too um and follow me so it's transform your life with donella Take care and don't forget to subscribe.